food, romance, <laughs> humor. These three words are usually reserved for Lucy Kinsley books when you talk comics, but the comics world is much, much larger than just the United States. This week, we travel to France to dine with Dodine Buffon, fictional gastronome extraordinaire, and his highly talented new cook, Adele. So, grab a plate and join the graphic reader for a culinary delight that will tickle your taste buds and might make your stomach growl. Welcome back. I'm Nathan, and this is The Graphic Reader. I would like to take a second and thank everyone that has subscribed. You folks are awesome, and I love you dearly. Today, we are going across the ocean and back in time to France around the 1830s. I may look down Fire Mountain because I'm consulting my notes this time. I really want to make this review really special. Now, in order to really appreciate Dodine Buffon, gourmet extraordinaire, it helps to understand the role of food in French society. Unlike any other cultural approach to food, French cuisine is so ingrained in the national identity that UNESCO recognized it as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Much like Japanese kabuki theater or Portuguese fago, French gastronomy is an indelible mark on that society. The French meal is not just making food and eating it. It's actually a whole big complex ritual that engages everyone involved. How cuisine is the height of gastronomy and to fully enjoy it, you must use all five senses together to truly appreciate the repast. All right, with that out of the way, I'd like to introduce you to Dodine Buffon, Gourmet Extraordinaire, as adapted by Matthew Bernier and published by Europe Comics here in the U.S. Dodine Buffon is a gastronome, more food aficionado, renowned the world over for his love of fine cuisine and exacting standards for dinner guests. He's well known for throwing people out for not being able to properly decode a meal, and because of this, he has formed an extremely small dining group of three close friends that dine with him. Fed by the highly talented Eugenie, Dodine Buffon lives a life of culinary decadence that others can only dream of. Unfortunately, Eugenie passes suddenly and Dodine Buffon's world is thrown into utter chaos. The quartet is reduced to dining in a local restaurant, forced to eat indiscriminately massacred trout and dishonored fowl for several months as Dodine Buffon searches for and terrorizes potential chefs. When it seems as though all is lost, he is introduced to Adele Padou, a common woman who has no formal training in bourgeois French cooking. She's a chef of very common means, but she still cooks with the soul of the greatest French chefs. And although Adele and Dodine Buffon aren't on the same page starting out, they quickly come to understand each other, and Nirvana is soon achieved again. Unfortunately, a good chef is difficult to keep under wraps, and soon word of Adele gets out to other epicures, specifically the Prince of Eurasia. Intent on gaining entry to Dodine Buffon's dining room, Prince invites him to a lavish chorus in an attempt to impress and cow the world-famous gourmand. Now, at the Prince's meal, Dodine Buffon is served close to 60 different dishes, as well as over 30 wines and liqueurs to go along with the meal. And Dodine Buffon leaves annoyed at the audacity of the Prince. His food was lavish, but it was missing the love and passion that Dodine Buffon demands of his meals. So, intent on putting the prince in his place, Dodine Buffon invites the prince to a meal and devises a plan that will prove his culinary superiority once and for all. So, <clears throat> the original book, La Vie et la Passion de Dodine Buffon Gourmet, which is often translated as The Passionate Epicure, was originally written in 1924 and has never been out of print in France. It's long been considered required reading for serious gourmet chefs. And the character of Dodine Buffon was based loosely off the real-life gastronome Jean-Anthelme Brillant Savarine and was written by Marcel Rouf, who was part of the revolution in French culinary arts. And to be honest, the draw for this book is not really the story itself, nor the human characters. The real draw comes from the descriptions of the foods throughout the book. For example, one character sampling a, stew, a soup states, 
Despite the singular overarching flavor, each individual ingredient retains its natural character. Here, beef rope broth over a judiciously chosen French vegetable broth. There, just a hint of champagne to give the liquid complexity. A light sauce, part mushroom, part white asparagus. A uh, poultry bouillon into which a few egg yolks have been beaten. But what's this? That sweet cook has favored us with shrimp and melted cheese croquets so that the feast keeps our jaws smiling. And what can be said of these blessed islands? Artichoke bases, blanched and loaded with a buttery melt and mushroom cream sauce. Oh. Since this is from Europe Books, the only way you can get a copy is digitally. One of these days I'll do a video just on Europe Comics because they're one of the most amazing publishers out there and have really opened up the wider world of non-American comics to readers. So you can get a copy of Dodin Buffon, Gourmet Extraordinaire, from Isneo, Comixology, Amazon, Google Play Books, Apple Books, or Kobo. And, you know, all of this talk has really made me hungry. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you know someone that would enjoy this book, please share this video. If you want to be one of the first to see these reviews, please subscribe. And as always, let me know what you thought by leaving a comment below. So until next time, this is Nathan with The Graphic Reader saying, Bon Appetit.